So this is the new Insta 361 R. It's kind of like a Lego set of action cameras. You can build out your camera to whatever configuration you want. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this thing and just kind of my experience working with it over the last week or so. So I've got a bunch of different components here that make up what is the Insta 361 R. And so what this camera is, it's a modular action camera. So you have all these different pieces that build together kind of like Legos and then it forms an action camera. And there's different mods, which are different cameras that basically go along with a screen. So the main components are the battery, which is this bottom sled thing. And then you have your monitor and then attached to the monitor is a camera. So the ones I have here are the 4K kind of GoPro style camera. And then I have the 360 camera here as well. Now Leica is also partnered with Insta360 and they're bringing a one inch sensor in one of these mods. So I had this camera for a little while now. I took it to Hawaii with me and I shot a ton of footage. Unfortunately, I can't share any of that footage with you because it's still under embargo, which means that they still don't want us to release footage of this camera. But what I can do is walk you through my experience working with a modular camera, letting you know just my thoughts around this in general. Now, if you have any questions about the camera and about any features on the camera, put them down in the comments down below because I'm gonna be doing a more full in-depth review where I can actually show the footage. And also, I'm gonna go to Insta360 and ask whatever questions that you guys have that I can't answer. So any questions about this camera, put it in the comments down below and I'll try to answer it within the next video that I do about this. Now let's go over the design because I think this is the strength of this camera. You basically have a sled on the bottom and this camera sled is the battery. Now you hook all your mods to the top of this battery. For the mods, you have your 4K camera, which is a 4K 60p camera that kind of resembles like a GoPro or an Osmo Action or something like that. It's the camera component. And then the second mod to make the camera complete is your screen. And both of these are about the same size and they cook together right in the center. Now, when you're looking at the mods, what you can see is on the screen, there's actually two inputs for your camera ports. And what that means is that you can flip the screen in either direction. So, so you can hook it together with the screen on the back facing you and the camera facing the other direction so that you can see what you're filming. Or if you wanna film yourself, you wanna do like vlog style content, you can actually have the screen face you. So it's pretty quick to pull this apart and swap it. And this is one thing that I was testing out when I was in Hawaii is I had this built, I'd be shooting something and then I will switch it out and see how long it takes to actually put it back together few seconds, now the camera's ready for vlog style videos. So it would be interesting to see a mod come out that has a screen on both sides, so it's on the front and the back. Who knows, I mean the beauty of this camera system is that they can basically build out whatever they want on top of the sled. So there might be some new options coming out in the future that you're not seeing here. Right now they have three different camera mods coming out and they have one screen mod. And so with the 4K mod, you basically get a 4K 60p camera. It's a 16 millimeter lens and it's a f2.8. And one of the features that I really like is the HDR mode. So I was shooting in some really bright scenarios in Hawaii and I would use the HDR mode so I could save the highlights that were in the sky versus the boat I was on. And can't really show you that footage, but I'll show you once I can. Now how the screen works is it's swiping. So you swipe left, you swipe right, you swipe up, you swipe down. And so the only actual physical buttons that you have on this camera is your record button on the top and the power button. And when you click the record button, it obviously records or it takes a photo. And the power button is used to turn on off the camera and you can click it once and it turns the screen on and off. Everything else is done through swiping in the menus on the actual screen. Now, if you're used to the big screen on the back with like the Osmo Action or the GoPro, then that is probably one downside that I see with this camera is that you have a smaller screen. So you're only seeing your image on half of the actual size of the entire camera. And that could be a downside for anyone who's using just the back facing monitor is that you're always kind of limited by what you can see. Now with this monitor though, when you have the 360 mod attached, you can scroll around and look in any direction so you can really see what you're recording. Now the 360 mod is great. It's a 5.7K camera. It's an F2.0 lens and it comes with this cool little carry case. 
So you just snap this on and then you have a very sleek setup. You don't have to take a ton of extra gear with you, which is kind of nice. I've been in a lot of situations where I bring like a GoPro and a 360 camera and this eliminates the need to bring both of those. You just need to have one setup and then you change out the mods. So for me, I can really see myself using this camera in that way, taking less gear, but having more flexibility. And I think that's the beauty of this camera. You can have more options to shoot with less gear. The only thing that I would suggest is maybe bring a couple extra batteries, and these are fairly small. It's a tiny little battery. And you could slip a few of these into your bag with your different mods, and then you have the power to shoot 360, you have a one inch sensor, or you have your 4K camera that shoots 60p, you can get some really good footage with a very simple setup. Now the case is very similar to like your standard GoPro case. It's got the prongs on the bottom, so every attachment that you have for your GoPro or Osmo Action, you can attach your Insta360 ONE R. Now one unique thing with this case is you have these attachments that go on the outside. And what these are is basically covers so that you don't scratch your lens. Because if you damage the 360 lens, you basically damage this entire mod. So when it's in this case, you have protection so you don't end up damaging the lenses. And it is something that happens. I've worked with a bunch of different 360 cameras. I used the Rilo for a little while and when I was on a climb, I ended up falling over and getting scratched on a rock. I couldn't use half of the camera anymore and it really limited in what I could shoot. So having some sort of protective coating is a huge bonus when it comes to these small 360 cameras. Now this is a pre-production model, so I can't really say much about the stitching or the look of the camera until they actually do the full release, which I think is gonna be on the 14th. I'm also gonna have the one inch mod coming at that time, so I'll be able to show all three cameras and I'm gonna do a more in-depth review that's gonna go through all the different components and actually see some of the footage. And I'm gonna go take this somewhere a little more exciting than my studio and go shoot with it and give you guys some real world footage. Now in terms of ease of use and software, it's the same as the other Insta360 cameras. You can use the phone app or you can use the Insta360 software on your computer and it works very similar to the other cameras. So if you have one of the other Insta360 cameras, it's gonna feel very natural just switching over to this. There's not gonna be much of a learning curve because it all kind of operates in the same way. Now when it comes to size, it's gonna be very similar to like your GoPro or your Osmo Action. However, it is slightly wider. So it is a little bigger, so it is a little bigger side to side, but top to bottom, it's about the same size. Personally, I'm excited about this camera because there is a lot of potential with this. And the beauty is if they change the cameras down the road, say a 6K or a 8K sensor comes out, you don't have to buy all new components, you just get the new mod. So it's a system that's gonna be continually upgrading and you're not having to buy a whole bunch of new pieces to go along with it. You just change out the cameras or get extra batteries or different screen mods. Who knows what they'll come out with in the future. But it's really cool because Insta360 doesn't have to come out with new cameras. All they have to do is come out with new mods. So there's a lot of potential with this camera. And from what I've been able to shoot with it and the footage that I've been getting, I'm pretty excited to see the future of this camera. All right guys, once I get the one inch mod and the embargo is up on the footage, I'm gonna put out a full in-depth review where we actually go through what this footage looks like and my thoughts about actually shooting with this camera in some real world settings. All right guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.